I think AEW has their custom made fans and everything they do caters to that fan. Yep. I'm going to say the same thing about WWE. They cater to the audience that pays to see them. There's somebody else I want to talk about. Sure. And he's not a model anymore after I saw him on Raw recently. Otis, since he did that whole uh, Money in the Bank thing, I, I have always thought that they went the wrong direction with Otis. The fans, yep. w- when he does the, uh, the the worm, the fans want to love this guy. They yeah. really do. And, uh, you know, recently on uh, Monday Night Raw, they got an opportunity to see him, you know, in that uh, four-way showcase match. And he was back without that whole model gimmick, although the uh, 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 that gorgeous blonde, who I would welcome putting me in that modeling thing. There's <laughs> got to be something going on with that uh, down the road. But I just want Otis to be that lovable creature, Otis. He's just, the fans want to adore him and love him. And, you know, he's great with Chad Gable and all that. Oh, yeah. They need to turn Gable into the modern day Kurt Angle. He's got that. He's really got it. And yep. they need to they need to find an opponent with him to make to have him grow into a, a modern Kurt Angle. He's smaller than Kurt, but I want to see Otis as that but I want to see him out in videos with kids hugging him and him going to um uh PAL meetings and school yep. meetings. That, oh yeah, I think you're dead on. Uh, he's got a, that uh, lovable feel about him that uh, mm-hmm. makes you comfortable to talk to him, adult or child. And of course, the children are who they're trying to reach. He's a and, kid. Uh, yeah, and you know, and so and people like that. It kind of when you were talking about that, Bill, it kind of made me wonder when it comes to WWE and AEW, who caters to the fans more when it comes to the show. That's a great question i think aew has their custom-made fans and everything they do caters to that fan yep. i'm going to say the same thing about wwe they cater to the audience that pays to see them do you think though that uh like wwe could learn uh, a few things from aew when it comes uh, to fan participation uh in the show not really i think the fans no. No, like like what? What do you like? Like you singing know? along with Chris Jericho's song, or uh, oh Lord, well, look I don't at know. Cody, look when Cody comes out. Whoa, yep. everybody's singing. Along. Look, look when uh, uh, Seth Rollins comes out. Everybody's singing along with him. That's, too. Uh, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Can you do I, I just Seth, wait? Wait. Can you do the Seth Rollins laugh? I had Medusa do it. it I like can't do it. I can... <laughs> Come on, give it a shot. <laughs> That is better than me. Okay. <laughs> if you fans want to send in a video, like a 10 to 15 second uh, a video of you doing the Seth Rollins laugh, it might wind up on our show here. Oh, yeah. Look, that'd be fun. I'd edit that thing together and we'll let everybody see what you got. Hey, do you do any wrestling imitations? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. The Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. Well, you know something, brother. Brother Randy, what you gonna do when the Hulkster runs all over you, brother? I, I used to be able to do those things, Bill. My voice, as I've gotten older, some of those things are just not as easy. I used to do quite a bit of voices. I did Mike I Tyson at one time. Uh, the Mike so Tyson good? School of Technology. Yeah, if you don't know exactly what I sound like. That's right. Exactly <laughs> what I sound like. You know, you know what scared me? I started doing Jimmy Snooker invitation and i started to understand his interviews so, <laughs> that is right you, you know something brother in the tv wonderland when you go and then you don't say brother and the volcano goes but it's beautiful brother